Jennifer, um, Jennifer Bell. She's an A-list so actress, and she is going through, I guess, a, a big transition in her life. I mean, there's so much going on. So she kind of has to do something um, drastic. And a little um, sneaky. I'm going to grab some food um, for and something that could completely humiliate her if anybody found out. So let's just call it a Hollywood arrangement. Well, Jennifer and Connor meet. Um, it's their setup, in a sense. Her agent calls his agent. There's an opportunity. Could be a job. Kind of is a job. Something like that. Jennifer is really having a hard time. She's been famous for a long time. And the 20-year-olds don't really know who she is anymore. Why would they? You know, there's a whole new slew of the generation there. And she's worried. She's worried about her career. She's worried she's going to fall into, like, this bottomless pit of nothingness. And she's really scared. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on in her personal life, too, that is reflective of all this as well. But um, she's, uh, she has to make a, she has to do something for herself to kind of stay relevant. Mm -hmm. as best she can. So the only thing she comes up with is this idea. Jennifer and Raquel get to have some interaction. Mm -hmm. um, there's some there's some good stuff going on there. Um, Jennifer doesn't really know what is going on. She just thinks Raquel is really not a very nice person. You know? Um, hot points are coming through. Watch out! Here we go. Um, but yeah, she's, um, she thinks... Um, she doesn't really, doesn't really know what the deal is with Raquel because she's just not very nice. Um, and, uh, you know, we find out that there's a, there's a really good reason for that. As, as you're watching the show, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, but Jennifer doesn't know that. And in a sense, Raquel ends up being the potential weak link in her whole scheme, in a sense. You know, like, she knows what's going on, and that is scary.